How you guys doing? What is up? Little history lesson today. The material I'm using in today's video is called Isopus Shale. And in this shale is chert deposits. So Isopus Chert. I really like this stuff. It has an ashy look to it. It's gray, brown, and black. And I really enjoy finding this, and I'm going to clip in the clip where actually Leah found this chunk. Recently, archaeologists have found that small knife blades and small scraping tools were used on sturgeon and either trout or salmon. And uh, I will put a link in the video description of the evidence of that. It was, it was found using a protein analysis. And that uh, can determine what kind of animals these tools were used on. Fish, animals, whatever. And um, <clears throat> it has shown that these smaller knives and scraping tools were used on trout, amazingly enough. Enjoy, guys. Problem here, and it's a little bit of problem in here. Trout season just opened, and I need a new knife. So I'm just making a small trout knife. Hopefully it don't break. This is creek material. The piece that Leah found. Click it in. Clip it in. Squirrels. part right in the middle. Try to get rid of it. See that? This side is pretty good.
some more. So this part was damaged. Better. So there's a lot of uh, what I'm going to call ashy stuff in here. It's causing a problem. Beyond that, I do like the stone. Ashy stuff is up there. Try to take this off. Damn it. 
damage in there. Okay. So there's definite damage right in here. So at this point, you wouldn't want to thin it anymore. So what I'm going to do, straighten the base. See if I could get one more flake here. No, nah, that ain't gonna work. All right, coming from the side. rid of a lot of the crud. I shot a flake straight across here. So now what I'm going to do is just sharpen it up. thick part at the tip. It's okay. It's not terrible. We're best with it, but got it. Okay few hits with the indirect did it. This stuff uh, is pretty good. Just gotta be careful of this ashy stuff and these parts that aren't cooperating. See that step there? All right. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice a little of the size too. Fix problem areas. So when you're doing this, you're gonna wanna decide what's gonna be your main cutting edge. It's gonna be this side. Maybe, we'll see.
Don't like that spot. Indirect again. I'm just gonna put the stick right on that lump. Just tap. Fixed a lot of it. Okay. Finish sharpening this up and shaping it. So I don't necessarily need a new knife, but I want a new knife. I'm going to be cutting through bone with this. So the trick with that is keep it kind of thick so you could resharpen it. I wanted it wider so that I could resharpen a lot. This is looking pretty good though. Very, very sharp. Straighten it there. Now I like paleo blades and all, but uh, they're kind of hard to keep in the haft unless you make a little spot to rest with sinew, which is what I'm going to do on here. Let's see her broke off. All right, it's looking pretty good. Super, super sharp. And they even both sides. 
just make it look nice. just cleaned up the hinge up at the tip it's cutting through my leather okay so I only have like 10% battery left I'm gonna half this and use it when I'm trout fishing there you go guys I'm gonna call it isopus it's got ash in it this is a nice little blade, man. It's all quartzites and limestone or shale. Don't really see anything too Plenty. Here's something awesome. Mm. Chalky. Sugary. Yeah. What? Sugar grains. So there's a usable blue quartzite here, at least. That's cool. Wow. Coal, coal, coal. Shiny coal. polish that is. What's that red? That's cool swirls. Let me take a take this piece off and see what it looks like. I don't know what that is. I don't want to ruin the rock though, so keep being nice and polished. <laughs> It's a big piece of coal. It's a huge piece of coal. Is it like how light it is? Are you sure? Is it pretty heavy for see if you can crack it? Because usually, usually it's pretty lightweight. This is yeah. a little heavier. It's coal. <laughs> yeah. That's coal. That's a dense piece. Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> We came for flint. You got coal. Like that's coal. Lots of coal. It's so like it's like lightweight. It's the awesome blue quartzite. Blue brown. 
and that's usable. Land of new rocks. Sandstone. Sandstone? Yep. So I have no idea what anything looks like here, so I'm just testing whatever looks different. Different than everything else. Flooding here must be crazy. Just there's just muck. size chunks here. That's a good piece. And I'm just going to mark this down. There's more right here. Not the best. Mark this on the map. Yeah. There's a lot of flint everywhere. It's definitely flint. It's a mosquito on you. That is Onondaga. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Onondaga. Kind of chunky, but I would be able to get stuff out of this. Say the mosquito. <laughs> Mosquitoes They're everywhere. Alright, I am not going to stay here because there's a lot. I found two pieces. So that is awesome. This piece looks a little better than this. So, um, Ontario Rockhound on YouTube sent me some Canadian Onondaga, and I napped this blade out of it. I'm not really finding anything this big in the creeks here, but it is the same stuff, essentially. So that's how thin you could get that stuff. Hold on, it's not focusing. There we go. And uh, I actually made it look like that with a vinegar bath. I put it in white vinegar for a few hours, and it stains it. 
turns the limestone a gray color, gray and white. This was a black blade before I put it in the, uh, the vinegar. All right, let's get out of here. We are being eaten by vampiric bugs. Okay guys, uh, I will check in soon. I'm gonna try to find gas for the car. Expensive, expensive gas. See you guys. Oh God. Hey Bear. All the way through. That is pretty wild. Guys, we are at some cave. This is like day 672 of the road trip. And uh, we're looking at geology. We're looking at rocks and looking for flint and other things that we could use for primitive survival, bushcraft and stuff like that. And uh, this is pretty awesome. There's a cave with limestone and mudstone and siltstone and maybe bears. Is any of this flint there, Jasper? Coming off the hill here, I found some blue chert. This piece here. Look at that. So the wind is picking up. It's definitely a storm coming. Temperature dropping. I gotta hurry up. Oh, 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 what is this? It's like basalt, but. Hmm. Yeah, see this? Look at that huge rock out out there. I kind of just want to float down this in the tube. Do they do that? Look at this. I want to be like that goose. Just float. Where's the goose? Right there. This water is like really clear too. Oh, look at that. Storms coming in. Looks like bad storms coming in. School of what looked like little, about this big, bass. Twelve of them, really tiny. Oh, man, this area feels really nice. Look at that. Yeah. 
I don't doubt it. Deadly river. People drown here. Don't be next. <laughs> so we are going to a campsite in the Pocono Mountains. And there's a pretty nasty storm coming in here. Does not look good. a protected archaeological site you cannot take anything from here whatsoever but I've been wanting to see it because it's a paleo Indian quarry and you can see the quarry pits right here and the stones they pulled out and pulled up it's pretty crazy to see I've been really wanting to see this for a long time standing on a bunch of tools here and stuff little tiny scrapers and stuff it's all really old stuff
two or something or new morning good morning I just car camped last night uh, because apparently you need to uh, get permits to camp at the primitive campsites here and uh, we get in late and that's after hours for the off for the permit offices. So I just slept in the car in a Walmart parking lot. Walmart parking lot. I am very tired. Uh, woke up at six in the morning again. <clears throat> Got a coffee and I'm driving just looking around the Poconos Poconos okay there's some cool looking rock formations up here but I don't see I don't see any flint in the walls alright guys I'll be back in a bit just drove past an advertisement I'm gonna have to see if I could get the images on Google somehow but it said, Big Fish Lake, pay a fee and keep the fish you catch. I am surprised. I am tempted to go down there and pay the fee and keep the fish I catch. The big fish. The big fish. That are in the lake. <laughs> this town's a little wonky. Okay, I keep that to myself. See you soon. Does anybody else have a Tamagotchi? I have a Tamagotchi. I've had a Tamagotchi since the 90s. The battery's dead. I did not take good care of my Tamagotchi. That is wild. Be careful on these, they wiggle. See the holes? I mean, the water was dripping in So that's confusing. What the Is this all? Was this? once like that and it's just filled in and so maybe in another I don't know 10,000 years this will be way smaller yes no no idea Jay has disappeared there we go okay yeah So this would slowly fill in over time. They would drop their leaves and fill in. Wow, that's so wild. So strange. So how big was this? What do you guys think? very confused. This doesn't make sense. Glaciated, unglaciated. Boulder Field is here. I 
How come it's not covered in forest? I mean, I see leaves blowing onto the rocks. Leaves rot, creates soil. There should be stuff growing in there, and there's not. Has anybody tested the salt level in there? Mm. Take your time, the rocks wobble. Yeah. Do that, take your time. So this is really cool. Um, if you want to be really confused, come check this out, because I'm, I'm, uh, what? <laughs> so the sign said that it was way larger in the past, and the forest has slowly been filling it in for the past 13,000 years. It says it's been here unchanged for 20,000 years. Wow. Where's the stream? Water drains from a bog east of the field, flows through the ground underneath the field, and emerges on the other side. So this was probably a lake. Maybe. So the rocks, for some reason, filled in a lake. There's a stream that runs underneath it, says. Oh, wow. So, is this... Show this flip it over. No, no, it's a fat picture. Yes. So this uh, gel fluxion. I need to. I don't understand that. A gel fluxion. Gel fluxion. I would Frost like to heat. learn more about that. Freeze, thaw, crack the bedrock. Yes. So my question is, why is this not Everywhere. along the entire line? Mm-hmm. Unless, well, I mean, was it? And it's just filled in. I don't. Like, if we followed the glacier the, line, where they're saying, I don't know, I understand. Okay, I'm leaving here. I'm too confused. I am getting a headache. Let's go. And you picture something being miles high, plowing through sandstones, mudstone. It, that wouldn't take much effort for her to do that because it's... Imagine the weight of that. Stumbled across uh, an old tannery, it, I, I think that's what it said. Look at that. The ruins of an ancient tannery. The river ran black. The woods next to the river are the ruins of Lehigh Tannery. Over a hundred families lived here. Two railroads ran through town. An ice house, a steam sawmill, a hotel and school all clung to the river's edge. Bark from the giant hemlocks was an ingredient essential to this town's success. It tanned as many as 50,000 hides a year. And now there is nothing left. Except the ruins. And the ghosts of people who used to live here. Do you still hear them? I know I do. Do you hear those voices? Spooky. Come back here at night and do a ghost hunt.
Hey, Siri. Can you play a song about Pennsylvania? Now playing Pennsylvania by Matthew Mole. Backing up. Got a banana? Look at that. <laughs> Be careful. Oh god. Hey bear. Goes all the way through. No, really? Oh my god. It's pretty wild. What do you think about this spot? I always love when there's a big river coming through with a big mountain. And I don't know if you can get up there. That's pretty cool. Is that the gorge up there? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can go up there. I mean, you can, but I don't know if there's like a road. Or a trail? Yeah. Come in. Cold dust. Those little yellow birds are swooping all over the place. I don't know. Red and pink rocks. Interesting blue rocks. 
I have no idea what those are. That cave right there, we wanted to go in from the other side and come through and look out, but it says danger. Danger in there, and it looks like it, I can't zoom this way. All right, so I can't zoom this way, but it looks like the ceiling collapsed a little bit. So that's a bit of a bummer. Would have been cool to walk through there. What is that? Not sure yet. Chert. Right off the tracks here and off the hill here, I found some blue chert. This piece here, look at that. Let me get a, a stone, let's see. Blue chart. What is it? I mean, there's only a little, little piece right in here. The rest of it is not. Limestone. And then chart. Blue chart. Blue gray. Alright. I'll leave them here. Cool. Lehigh Gorge is freaking awesome. I've been hiking around here all day. I'm kind of exhausted. Anyway, on to the next spot. Let's go!